Hey, what is going on? This is Eduard Stinga from Videoplasty and welcome to this uh, Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, actually, sorry, it's, I don't think it's called Sony Vegas anymore. I think Sony sold it to another company. Uh, it's actually called Vegas Pro nowadays. So <laughs> anyway, welcome to this Vegas Pro tutorial where I'm going to show you a super easy method that you can use to create professionally looking animated videos. They're called explainer videos like that kind of style. If you're familiar with that, you can use this to make videos for yourself, uh, for your own business and websites, or just to sell this as a service to your clients, because this is a really popular animation style that uh, you can see pretty much anywhere nowadays. This is a super easy method that you can uh, start using as soon as you finish watching this video. Uh, you don't need any animation experience or any graphic design skills. Uh, you can uh, just get started, as I said, as soon as you finish watching this video. But first of all, let's have a quick look at the demo video that I'm going to show you how we can recreate today. So, you're sick and tired of the same routine. Same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. With us, it's all really simple. It doesn't matter if you want to go to an exotic island, go camping, sail around the sea, or go from place to place on a world tour. We got you covered. Don't forget your camera, because once you're on that airplane traveling halfway across the world, you'll want to take a picture of the clouds from your window seat. The view from 10,000 feet is amazing! Or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media. Or really, just sit on the beach, enjoying the sun and relaxing. That's why you're there, aren't you? So give us a call at 1234-5678 and book your dream holiday today. All right, I think that looks pretty, pretty amazing. And I know what you might be thinking right now. Uh, you might feel a bit overwhelmed. And um, I completely understand that because it, it does look a bit advanced. But trust me, by, by the end of this video, you're going to be you're going to feel super comfortable creating something like that. It's actually super easy. And the way we're going to make such an animation is by using something called stock animation. And uh, if you don't know what stock animation is, it's basically like stock photos or stock video, uh, you just find ready-made, ready-to-use items that are pre-animated and good to go and you basically just buy the license to use them. So for animation it's something like this. Um, as you can see here in the project media I already imported some items. So as you can see here it's basically like a guy that gets an idea and it's already animated or you can just find like an uh, like an icon of an island or anything like this. Um, for this project I already did the research and selected a lot of good stock animation clips that work well with our project. Uh, I'm gonna talk a bit later about where you can find stock animation. We're gonna leave that for the end of the video. So without further ado let's actually get started. First, when you make any sort of video, you need to start with a script, but uh, you know, that's a topic for a whole different video. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. So we already have a script and a voiceover narrating that script. So I'm going to import that script here on the timeline. And uh, you also want to have some music as well because it's really nice. So I'm just going to import that as well on the bottom here. Also, you want to make it a bit less loud let's see let's play it back and see if it sounds well or take a selfie when you get there yeah the music is a bit too loud so i'm just gonna or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media or real yeah that's pretty much should be fine um yeah all right uh, i'm just gonna drag this up like this and uh, now what you want to do is, uh, I'm actually going to use the scroll to zoom in a bit because I want to be able to see the waveform of um, of the voiceover here. Oops. Go all the way to the beginning here. So what you want to do is you want to right click here and uh, insert... Wait, where is it? 
I'll go here on the bottom where you don't have any track and uh, right click and then click on insert video track it's gonna appear here on the top so let's see what the first part in the voiceover says and the way we're gonna know exactly how to time the animation uh, because we're gonna drag and drop the items here on the timeline is by watching this waveform right here where you see the waveform going up uh, it's the voice saying something and over here for example or here when you see where you see nothing it's basically a pause in the voiceover so it's like pauses between sentences all right so let's uh let's have a quick look so you're sick and tired of the same routine same job you don't really like that much <clears throat> All right, so for the first sentence here, uh, what I selected was um, this clip right here called Tired. You can preview it here if you want to. It's basically just a guy drinking some coffee, which works really well with uh, the first sentence that says, hold on, what is it? Uh, no, you, wanna, you don't wanna change the project settings, you wanna keep the original ones. Uh, just because this, I mean, this piece of stock animation is designed for full HD. It's just not widescreen. It's just tall because there was no point to have the the empty space on the right and to the left. All right. So for this clip, uh, I'm just gonna make it a bit shorter. Just gonna grab the end and make it this long here, as you can see here. And then for the next part, uh, it says something about being tired about the same job or something like that. So for that, we just used, um, wait, let me see, this one, sleeping at work. So again, I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And, um, you know, you want to make it a bit shorter. I think it was all the way to here. So, uh, yeah, let's play it back and see, see how it feels. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much, but then it hits you. All right. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing we want to do actually is we want to change the background to a color because we don't have we, we don't want to have black it doesn't look too well oops what did I do all right oops yeah so um, I'm just gonna right click here and insert another video track on top you gotta move both clips on top because here on the bottom I want to go here to media generators uh, where it says solid color and I just want to um, hold on let me see I just want to insert like either one of these here on the bottom and uh, here for the color I just want to use I don't know let's just change it to something close to what we had in the tutorial uh, I think something like this should be fine yeah but uh, as you can see now unfortunately um, Sony Vegas, oh sorry, Vegas Pro doesn't import them with transparent background automatically, so you have to change the setting manually for that. And uh, the way you do that is by right clicking on each clip, go into properties, uh, go to the media tab here, and on uh, the bottom somewhere here you see alpha channel, and you just select pre multiplied and then hit OK. And uh, there you go. And of course, you have to do this again with this clip and all the other clips that we are going to import. All right, let's check the voiceover and see what it says next so we can uh, add some more clips. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff? All right. Uh, let's go back to project media here on the left and uh, for this part in the voiceover I use the mix between thinking oops uh, I'm just gonna put it here again yeah and uh, I actually didn't use too much of it just uh, for this sentence here uh, I think it says but then it hits you and immediately after that just to make it more dynamic I use this one with idea so just drag and drop it here and um, it was all the way to oops it was all the way to here let's see what the voiceover says next and go on an adventure like pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible all right so for the next part in this sentence is about leaving on a holiday 
So for that, I wanted to spice things up a bit and uh, I actually used a full screen scene, this one right here called packing. Uh, right. Oops. So for this one, it doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to drag it all the way to say around here because the next clip that I'm using is actually on the same topic and it works really well. Uh, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to match it specifically with one sentence. So let's see, I think it was called uh, traveling. Yeah, there you go, traveling. Yeah, because this next clip is like a stock animation with transparent background. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly transparent right now, but we're going to fix that in a minute. So um, yeah, let's make that shorter. Actually, let's check again um, up until what point. And get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to your... All right, so let's say up until around here, because then in the next part in the voiceover, we're just going to introduce the name of the company and uh, the logo. So um, again, you want to go to each individual clip, go to properties, media, and uh, select the alpha channel to pre-multiplied. And of course, repeat this for every single video. All right, um, the next part is where we introduce the logo. And um, for that, because we, oops, because we don't have an actual logo for the company, uh, I just used an animated icon for five seconds, this one. It's a really cool animation. Um, for re I'm, It's a really cool van animation. I really like this uh, Volkswagen van from uh, whatever, 70s, I don't remember exactly. So uh, it's really good, it's five seconds long, exactly as this sentence right here. So uh, again, go to properties and make it transparent. All right, so now that we inserted the van to use as a logo, you wanna make it a bit smaller. You don't want it to fill up the whole screen. So you're gonna click this uh, icon here on the bottom of the clip. And uh, let's zoom out here by using the scroll. And you want to grab one of the corners and uh, use the Alt button to preserve uh, the proportions. So let's just say, yeah, that size should be fine. And uh, move it here, like, yeah, on on the top should be fine. And now you want to add some text underneath it. So uh, you're gonna have to right click again, insert video track. And uh, let's go to media generator here. You can just write text and uh, you're going to find this titles. <clears throat> so uh, let's see, let's use uh, slide left, for example, drag and drop it here on top, make it a bit shorter. So uh, let's see how it looks. Let's just say yourdreamtrips.com uh, that is obviously a bit large so uh, let's make this a bit bigger to see what we're doing well, I'm gonna use the scale here to make it a bit smaller move it a bit to align centrally uh, I'm gonna change the color as well to black just so you can see it better and uh, yeah that should be should be fine. All right, close this, and uh, now let's play it back all the way from the beginning to see to see what we made so far. We have like twenty seconds. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much, but then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local... <clears throat> All right, that looks pretty impressive. As you can see, we already made the first 20 seconds of the video and it took us uh, pretty much like, I think, 10 minutes to do so. Uh, so as you can see, it's super easy. All you have to do is find the... Uh, 
matching stock animation that works with your script that matches it visually you you import it into your uh, project here in vegas pro and then you just drag and drop it and uh, make sure the timing is right with the voiceover that's pretty much it and I'm not going to continue with the rest of the video to finish it all the way up to one minute because it's just going to get boring. It's just the exact same thing over and over again until we finish the whole video. Uh, and I think this is enough for you to understand how easy this is to use and to replicate it as well on your own. So now the big question is where can you find stock animation? And uh, to be honest, there are a couple of places out there uh, like st big stock footage websites that uh, also have some animation here and there but it's usually from different authors from different vendors and it's like really low quality and all the styles are inconsistent and don't really mix well together so that's exactly the reason why we created a website called videoplasty.com and uh, yes full disclosure i own videoplasty it's a marketplace for stock animation and uh, gif animations or vector clip art but for this tutorial and uh, creating animations like this, you just gotta go to stock animation. And uh, you can find all sorts of like different packs with character animations, icon animation, top view scenes like you've seen in the tutorial, and uh, so on. Like As you can see here, the latest ones are a criminal character pack, uh, also like a hacker, you know, black corporate man, and uh, so on and so forth. So yeah, have a look, see if you like anything, and uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was uh, Edward Stinger from Videoplasty, and I'll see you soon.